Okay, first let's talk Angelo. So uh, Angelo is going to be the A. He spent a third of the money on new jeans. So basically he spent one third A. So he starts off, now this is what's funky, is it's going to be a subtraction. We're going to start with A. We're going to subtract one third of A. Oops, that looks like one over three A. It's one third of A. So basically it's three thirds of A because that is what one A equals is three over three minus 1 over 3a. So Angelo has left 2 thirds of a. That's what Angelo has left in his wallet. We're going to do the same thing with Jimmy. So, uh, you know, Jimmy is going to be j. He spent half, so spent half. So we've got to subtract that half of j. So basically the Jimmy situation is going to be j minus 1 half j. Now if you want to get a common denominator, you have to multiply j by 2 over 2. Sorry I didn't do that for uh, Angelo, so please forgive me. So that's 2j over 2 minus 1j over 2. By the way, I like putting the variables in the numerator. It just makes everything easier. So putting everything over 1 denominator, it's 2j minus 1j over 2, which comes out to be 1j over 2, or some people like it, half j. Okay, so if Jimmy had more money than Angelo, Jimmy's going to start first. So the final expression is going to be one half J minus what did Angelo have? Two thirds A. So it's going to be this, which is going to be one half J minus two thirds A. I'm going to go option C. Okay, on to the next random problem. Now what we have to do is group things together. So it looks like we have four J plus eight J. I'm just basically isolating the J's. And then the k's are going to be together, so that's 6k plus, oops, 10k. So you guys know it's like, okay, cool. Now since they're both j's, it's going to be 4 plus 8, so that's going to be 12j. And then 6 plus 10, that's going to be 16k. Now here's the funky thing. We've got to find out the biggest number, the greatest common factor common to 12 and 16. I don't want to do it here, but um, you can do the prime factorization. Basically, uh, 12, you know what, I will do it. So 12 is factored to 2 and 6, and then 2 and 3, so it's 2 squared times 3, or 2 times 2 times 3. And then 16 comes out 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. And again, I should be circling the last numbers here. I'm just doing this rather hastily. I apologize. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So what do they have in common? Well, it looks like they each have two twos multiplied. So that's going to be a four because two times two is four. So we're going to factor out a four out of the 12J. Well, four times what is 12? Four times three is 12. That's going to be three J plus, oh, 16 divided by four is four. That's another way to think of uh, factoring out. So it's going to be four times the quantity, three J plus four K or four times open parentheses, three J plus four K. I believe that's option C, four open parentheses, 3J plus 4K, close parentheses. Good luck.